So I decided to produce this um, fifth video just because since the last time when I recorded the other ones, those old ones that you just finished watching, uh, I found a website that allows us to really visualize these intersections. So I thought it would be good to just uh, finish off by you seeing them visually what's going on and uh, it might be helpful. So the website is actually called Hot Math, which is kind of funny, but the way I discovered it was I looked up this, the intersection of three planes, and came down and saw, where is it, this guy right here, hot math. If you want to do your own one, add hot math to the end of your Google search, and you'll come right to this, intersection of three planes. And this is the excellent uh, tool that will allow us to visualize these. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go off and put in the uh, this example one that we did back a couple of videos ago. So this is 1x, so 1x and 2y and 7z equal to 4, and then 1x and 3y and negative 3z equals 1. So we know from the math that this intersects at a line because the normals are not um, scalar multiples of each other. And so if we go here and go OK, you'll actually see that visualization. So there are the two planes, the red one and the green one, and you see how they intersect at a line. So that's good. And we kind of saw this um, yesterday when I was showing you this in preparation of for the videos. So, but that's a really good visual, visualization of what's going on. I thought it would be good to, so I'm just going to clear those and new system. Uh, show us the second example. So here's the second example. And remember in the second example, we found out that these were parallel and we did the test to see if they were distinct. It turns out they weren't, so there's no intersection. So let's try uh, this with these ones. So again, we're going to go here and we're going to go 2x minus 1y plus 3. And you see how this is minus 5? So I'm going to move this minus 5 over to this side and make it a plus 5. So that way it's in the form that uh, the website requires. So I'm going to have to make this a plus 5. And then it'll be 4x uh, negative, 2y, uh, negative 2y and 6z. And this is going to be have to be a negative 1. So those are the equations then in the form that we need them for this website. And we can reset the axes and then push OK. And there is indeed two planes. Now it's hard to really see, but I think if you twist it like that, you see that, yep, those indeed are two parallel planes. Their normals are scalar multiples of each other, and therefore the intersection is zero. And uh, if you want, you can go off and try this third example. Of course, you can't use this notation. You'll have to go off and use this notation to put it into the website to visually see the intersection that you found, the line. So I just thought I'd finish with that um, site and something that you can look at and try out on your own.